What's up, YouTube? Working out through garage. As you can see, I'm home. So today, I want to drop the four L60 out of this Tahoe. First thing first, um, I probably just need to remove this um, driver's side tire, uh, drain the fluid, and um, loosen my drive shaft. Um, get that out of the way and uh, just go from there. Um, I will do like a detailed video, but um, it's a great video from a uh, dude. You can fix it if I'm not mistaken. Uh, I probably just have the channel down here, uh, but they went very uh, descriptive and really good. So ain't no point of going back over. So the objective uh, for tonight is to try to drop the training. Uh, hopefully everything go as well, fingers crossed. And um, I just want to get this truck, you know, close to the finish line. So see y'all. Make sure to subscribe if y'all new, uh, like, uh, y'all have a spot in the garage. And if y'all return and stuff, man, make sure to share and comment, man. Stop being scared, stop being afraid. Come on, man. All right, let me stop, see y'all. So guys, I'm gonna break this wheel off right here. Guys, we got clear space. All right, guys, first thing first, I'm finna remove the starter, finna remove these two bolts and then go from there. All right, guys, we got starter removed. Now we just need to drain the fluid out of this pan. So guys, after battling this boat, I'm gonna just drill a hole right here in the middle and then uh, just drain it out. I've been trying to find uh, some sockets like this, but I, I don't have the right size, so which sucks. But anyway, just drain her out. Got it drained. Now I'm gonna move the drive shaft. I'm gonna loosen up these two, well, these four bolts and uh, go from there. So guys, we got a drive shaft out the way, as you can see. So now I'm gonna loosen up this uh, mountain bracket and I'm gonna get my uh, transmission jack and uh, go ahead and uh, support the bottom side, strap it up. Well, I ain't gonna strap it up probably. Uh, I loosen all the connections like this uh, shift cable um this plug connecting over that way and uh some other little stuff the input sensor and all that little good stuff so so guys after draining the fluid i removed the cross uh beam for the transmission support and used my jack stand now we gonna put a little pressure on it and go from there. So guys, I'm removing the flywheel bolts. Y'all might not be able to see. Yeah. Anyway, I'm moving that flywheel bolt right there. We got three of them. So I'm just turning the engine over. So guys, I'm removing uh, two 13 millimeter bolts. I'm using like a really long extension and then the rest is gonna be 15 uh, coming down. Uh, one bracket holds the trans fluid. Um, or you can check the level, uh, fluid level and the other one holds like the gas lines that I'm loosening right now. Guys, I got the transmission strapped down now. Uh, now, only thing we have to do is uh, remove these uh, 15 millimeter bolts, which probably gonna be a pain uh, in the butt, but I feel like we can get through it. So, yeah, see y'all. And I forgot to mention, I had to remove this dipstick. Once we had removed that 13 millimeter down, I had to pull it out. It was in there pretty snug and all that. So it's gonna take some time but it's out now, it's loose. Got the transmission apart. Finna see if I can slowly rise her down.
Shamrock. Which just was a two person job. <laughs> but I got it, y'all. Brother helped me earlier. Oh, yeah, it wanna come down. Oh, yeah, she loose now. See if she can, see if we can drop it, though. So guys, there y'all have it, the 4L60. <sighs> what a nightmare trying to get them bolts, but I end up managing to uh, get it. As you can see, that thing did its thing. It's the old torque converter right here. That's pretty cool. So guys, everything should be uh, interchangeable. Like this module piece right here should be interchangeable uh, with the other one. And same with the bracket, we're gonna reuse the bracket. So. It's pretty damn fun, I'm not gonna lie. It's like four in the morning, I'm not gonna kid to y'all. Like that's how long it took me and all. So I gotta wash all my clothes, wash up and all that thing. So I hope y'all enjoyed this video. So it's the 4060 right here. It is pretty light. And then it's the 4080 right here. Boat pattern should be got soon, but like I said, I could change. I can use that module and um, get that bracket. Well, it might be dead. Now, it might be different being at this plug right here. I'm not sure. Anyway, we'll see, though. Um, yeah, that's pretty much it, y'all. Hope y'all have a good one. I think the bolt pattern is about the same. One, two, yeah. Yeah, boat pattern the same. If I ain't mistaken. Yeah, it's the same. Yeah, boat pattern all that the same. So, anyway, guys. <clears throat> got how much room we got on here, too. I got two scattered everywhere. Well, look how much room I can just open. <clears throat> The back side looks so fresh. I don't know why, but I'm gonna end up doing, um, wow, this thing looks fresh. The back, um, the rear main seal, I might end up doing that. I'm surprised I don't see like no oil or anything of that nature. It look pretty damn fresh. Oh my gosh, it look clean in here to be honest. Not bad at all. See y'all guys.